Yes, yes. yes. Big up, big up, big up, everybody. Welcome. I would say welcome, welcome to another episode of Sprint Culture. Uh, as you can see, joining me on my right in front of me, but on my left, respectively, none other than Trayvon Bramell, last year's World Championships 100 meter silver medalist. Sorry, bronze medalist. Um, you funny. <laughs> no, what? What's so funny? I was that. What? It just came. I had I had Marvin on last week, so yeah. that's probably why. But yo, why don't you uh for the YouTube family, yeah. Instagram family probably already knows who we're jo- who's joining us as well. Uh, why don't you just show show people your boot, man? Show people show your people boot. My boot. Yeah, you can show ah. your boot. Yeah, let them know what's going on. Oh, man. All right. Here we go. Yeah, it's for dealing with right now, everybody. Boot it up, man. Hey, but I'm out yeah. to boot next week, though. So, you know, we locked, loaded. We back we back to grinding. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, so you about to get into Brussels later then? <laughs> I'm fucking <Man>. shit. <laughs> yeah. If I, get, if I get into Brussels, boy, you're going to have you solder and all that at my front, though, boy. <laughs> <laughs> they going to be questioning everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just see it. I see uh, uh, the Instagram family joining. What are you saying, yo? Uh, yeah. Someone, someone joined. As, yeah, I do got Jamaican background. Um, so check this out. Speaking of boots, yo, uh, before I go yeah. into anything, what you asking about this? This right here? Oh, this is nothing. This nah, is a little bread right. cup that I got from 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 Heartbreak dot Run. Heartbreak dot Run <laughs> actually provides all of your running needs: jackets, tights, sweatsuits. Super shoes, yo, they got it all, yo. You need that more. You need more bounce to the ounce. Heartbreak dot run, <laughs> and, they, and they make red cups too, huh? For people to, to get turned. <laughs> yeah, now nah, they made red cups for me, Trayvon. Let's get that straight. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man. Um, so speaking of boots, yeah. yo, Abby's booted up. She put something in her story uh, today. Where she yeah. just got out of surgery. Mm-hmm. It says she had a heel spur. Is it's it's different from what you got, but you've yeah. had that before though, haven't you? Yeah, so I had the heel spurs in my my last surgery with my uh, my left leg. So basically, it's the same injury that I have on my right, but because the first doc who did my surgery in 2016 really didn't understand what was at stake, you know, I let him know I'm like, hey, you know, I'm a high profile athlete like I'm, I'm an olympic athlete like i need this to be you know on point and i think he kind of took it as just like ah and because of that you know for those people who seen me compete at 2017 trials in uh, california like i was limping you know i wasn't running well then go back under surgery again the doc who did my set my surgery on my right leg he was like do you not see all these bone spurs now that you have on you know the heel bone because of all that tension and everything so yeah it, it, it can happen, man. Like, them bone spurs can come from many, many different things, and they they painful. Do you but talk Abby's to Abby at all? Straight, though. So, what's crazy, I've always supported her from, like, the shadows, right? Like, great, phenomenal athlete coming out of college. Uh, but I never actually spoke to her. You know, I would see her at track meets and everything like that. If I pulled up to a college meet, you know, see her. But I actually spoke to her for the first time at, at the USA's. You know, because obviously I made, you know, my announcement that I was getting surgery uh, and it was going to be my second surgery with this particular situation. You know, she reached out. She was like, you know, hey, uh, could I just get like some info on like what all you went through process and everything? So that was pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Because I really didn't know as a person. So to see, you know, her reach out and everything, you know, I definitely showed my love and, you know, told her whatever I could to help her with her situation and. And, you know, on the back end of it all, like, I'm going to be there in her corner to support her because I know how hard it is. Like, y'all seen my last situation. It took me forever to get back. Um, but if she has the right tools, just like now I know what the right tools are needed for her to get back, I don't think she, I don't think she's going to lose a step. She's still young, too. So her body, her body going to recover quick. Yeah. She, what, 21, 22? Probably 22. I ain't really counting, but she young. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she'd be all right. Yeah. Guy. Um so check this. Um there's been a lot of discussion about like uh 
I don't know. Like the hold on a second. Someone just asked a second ago. The Mbappe faster than Bolt stuff. Like we need to stop that. I don't know if you've seen the graphic, Trayvon, but there was this graphic they made of Mbappe. What it would actually look like if he raced Bolt, mm. and it was bad. It was. They had. They, it was accurate. Like they had him way back. Right. I don't think yeah. people really understand. I think what would be an interesting graphic would be him with some of the women. Yeah. And I think whoever made that, I, I want to DM them and ask them to do that, yo. I, I didn't so see that, it. You didn't see it? I'll send it to you. Mm. Um, what, so what did you see? That Twitter or something? Nah, it was on Instagram, yo. It was circulating. It, it was circulating, but... I didn't see yeah, that. it was... It was Uh, exactly what happened. I've heard a few things, but not not accurately enough for me to be able to feel comfortable speaking about it. But it did yeah. happen during relay practice, and uh, we're hearing that he might not be able to run. Yeah. Now, mm. not many people in the USA have the standard this year. Mm. I don't think anybody else in the final had it. Mm. So, considering that, what's the best plan of action here, in your opinion? Well, th- so I've talked to many people about this, and like I like I told them, and like I shared my opinion with it. This is the first time me knowing about track or even being within the circumstances of it. I've never seen this happen. Like I've never seen somebody get banged up before, and then you got to try to probably bring somebody in or you got to try to make these like drastic changes, right? I've, I've never been a part of it. It may have happened. Maybe I wasn't a witness to it, but I've never seen it, been a part of it. So I, this is all foreign to me. Uh, from what I heard, they take like a world rankings situation, right? So for me personally, like if you're in the world rankings and you was in that final, then uh, you should be good. I'm on, I'm on the live. Uh, my apologies. Um, uh, but yeah, you should you should be able to run. So obviously Brandon, Brandon Carnes, he got fourth, right? So I feel like off the ruling, he should be the next one up to go and run. Um people may feel their opinions based off of that, but I feel like with logistics, he made it to the final. He shoot he was only one spot off of going anyway. So I think they should take take him if they're gonna pick anybody. You've always been a big fan of uh Brandon. You pointed him out to me a few times early. Basically saying to look out for him. Unfortunately, those times he didn't really perform well enough to convince me. But on the low, he came fourth at USA's. I didn't even know he came fourth at USA's. Yo, big up track and field culture. I see you, yo. Big you up here. We got we got uh, some work to do. Brett Curley, I see you in the building uh, in the chat on uh, Instagram. What are you saying, yo? You didn't message me back, yo. I don't know what the fuck. What are you saying, yo? Um, but yeah, um... You've always liked him. So yeah. you feel like they should do whatever they can to give him a shot. But that would be based off world rankings. So based off world rankings, he could still get in? Yeah. For, like I said, a lot of this is he say, she say stuff. Like I said, I've heard like, oh, they got to be in a certain bracket of the rankings, like a certain number, this, that, and the third. And if that is the case, he fit it. Bro, I'm all, I'm all about giving chances, right? Like. If the man can be next up, why not give him a shot? We don't know what can happen. We don't. Right. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if he got a shot to go out there and prove himself, let him. I hear you. That's just I hear me that. Me personally. And it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I hear mm-hmm. that. It makes a lot of sense. But the, the, you know, the viewer in B wants to see someone that I know is going to run fast. Now he's ran, he ran, came fourth at USA. That's cool. And it would be good for him to get a shot. Mm. But I don't know, man. I'd be honest. If they could sneak Marvin in there, I'd be cool with that. <laughs> I mean, I, at the end of the day, I feel like that's what everybody is looking to see. Obviously, because Marvin's a name. Uh, it, he's recognizable. Like, people know who he is. So, and then obviously, he's ran fast multiple times throughout his career and up to date. So it wouldn't be something anybody would be tripped about, right? Like, they'd be like, oh, shoot, we straight. I just feel like it would kind of be messed up on protocol sense for somebody like Brandon to get looked over 
because he went through the mm-hmm. season running. He he made it to the finals, and then he got fourth. It like obviously I support both parties. I just feel like more on Brandon in it'd be messed up because what if he go there and can prove himself and better his situation as far as a track athlete. Right. You know, so I'm looking at it from that sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all talk about, like, last year, you know, Fred got his, Mar got his. Shoot, I still kept mine. Everything smooth. So, for somebody like Brandon, like, I've been knowing Brandon since outside of high school. So, of course, I'm rooting for him. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, and I know what he got, just like Fred and Mar. Like, he got a kid. He got stuff that he got to take care of. So, if it's an opportunity for him to get his name in the pot to where he can get his too, of course, I'm going to root for that as well. So, that that's how I'm looking at it. Like, it's an opportunity for him to make a name for itself. And he's been around. Like, it ain't like, he, we the yes. same classification in college. So he's been around. He just need a shot. Yeah. I mean, you never know, bro. You never know. You never know. That's the thing. I think, um, opportunities are so few and far between in track and field mm. that when someone gets a shot, you know, Cool if they can capitalize on it. Yeah, I totally that's, feel that's, that. Trust me. I totally that's the feel only that. thing. Because what totally if he never that. get a shot again? Obviously, I want him to make teams, right. but we never know, bro. Like, we know we how USA know. is. We know how fast people are. We know how fast the people are getting. You just never know. So, if he got an opportunity, shoot. Let him shake yeah. some. No, it's true. It's true. People in the chat are asking if Marvin Bracey, I don't know if you just got in, uh, people in the chat asking this question, they're asking if Marvin Bracey is an option. Apparently he is. Yeah, of course. Um, but I, I don't I don't know. No one knows what's going to happen. And uh, yeah. we just got to wait and see. This has never been a situation in the USA before, dog. That's what it, I'm it's saying. The, That's what this I'm is saying. crazy to me. This is crazy to me because in other countries, this happens all the time. In Canada, it happens all the time but like, only a couple guys have the standard and then you know only two people will go but yeah. now you got a situation where you guys got guys that just weren't in the final but the standard yeah. what well i kept on having discussions about what the what the standard is for the men's hundred anyways what is the standard so usa standard was 1005 what well, is 1005 the world rankings i mean world athletic standard is 10 flat so right. That is one thing that I, I want to say Brandon does not have. He doesn't have the standard, but that's why I said off of he say, she say, he's in the bracket for world rankings to be chosen. So that's what I'm saying. It's, it's an iffy situation, dog. It's weird. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's the, the, I don't know, man. Y'all are becoming human. That was what happening, Trey. I mean, the U.S. is usually pretty, pretty deep. There's a, I mean, there's there's like loads of people to choose from when it comes to people that can go with the standard, and that's not oh you saying in that in that instance, I mean yeah, standard or no standard, I still think that we have a hell of a lot of people to go, and yeah. they still perform. Yeah. Um. A few of the comments I'm looking at. Um. Yeah, Fred, you you seen these comments? People said you should have messaged me back. And you, I find it very disrespectful. Um, the relay camp. Um, what what Fred talking no, about? Fred, let me no, know. Not, what are you talking about? No, he's saying no. I think he's saying that. Um, I think he's saying that Marv what, Marv's isn't not eligible. I think Marv's not. I think he's saying that. But, but you I know what's know. crazy though? Back in the day, like in 2015, even if you didn't make it, like make it out of the the, the semis or, or, or prelims. You would still be eligible for the relay. I never understood this dynamic, dog. Bro, it was people at relay camp in 2015. They didn't even run 100. They didn't even run 100. Real. And they got broke. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> I said, dudes didn't even run 100. Even on the female side. Bro, that's what, bro, USATF be doing some. Hey, when they, that's why I said it wouldn't be, it would not surprise me if we see Marvin dress up to go to the meet. It wouldn't surprise me. USATF will do whatever they need to do to make sure they take the people that they want to take. That why I say I wouldn't be surprised, dog. I wouldn't. No. I just, that's just being a honey. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm telling you. And I, I wouldn't be upset me. either. But that's just. No, the I don't think right nobody me. would. I don't think nobody would be. From mad, from my from my heart, I'm saying okay. Let Brandon go. 
But, <laughs> but from my eyes, <laughs> yo, I'm trying to see Marv out there, Ty. I'll be real with you, yo. I'm trying to see him hey. line up because he seems like he's in good shape. And he, he'd be in the mix. I know he'd be in the mix. Brandon might be in the mix. But I know Marv would be in the mix. And I don't know. I think it would be interesting turn of events. Um, Fred said this ain't back in the day USATF. What you mean by that, Fred? I don't understand what you mean. Me. Explain. Explain. It's me. It's still um, the same old USATF. So check this. A uh, 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 post came out today about Brussels mm. and this huge matchup that's about to happen. And the matchup is between Sydney McLaughlin mm. and Femke Bowl in the 400 meter hurdles. Now, when Aaron was on here last time, Aaron Brown, yeah. me, him, and Justin were talking about if Femke won Worlds yeah. and Sydney wasn't there, I was saying, well, she'd win the gold, but everyone would know, well, she won the gold because Sydney wasn't there. And we were having uh-huh. this big debate about well, whether or not the gold would still mean the same. And I said it's a gold medal, but it's still people saying yeah. it's like an asterisk gold medal because what the, the person that's the best in the event ain't there. Um, yeah. You can tell me how you feel about that in a second. But mm. if I feel like if Femke goes to Worlds, and she just ran 51 yeah. seconds, 51.4, I, I believe, in her last mm. competition, all by herself. She goes yeah. to the championships and runs 50 point. I'd be very surprised if Sydney showed up at that meet in Brussels because she hasn't run any four hurdles at all this year. I'd be very surprised. What are your thoughts on that? I, I don't. I don't think she'd be worried. Only for the simple fact is, at the end of the day, when they both got to line up, they got to be ready for what each other bring. So, see it because of how big of a name, like she, well, how big of a name she, like she has in the track world. I remember, I, I want to say, y'all talked about this before, like that intimidation factor, right? Like when Sia step on the track, she's she's world known. Like it's 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 her place until somebody takes it, right? So I think that's the that's the position that's going to play the factor when it comes to her and Femke. And then they both with the same brand. So it's like, hey, who the best? In, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be a lot of factors mentally. People may not think about it like that, but it, it, it's sometimes like that. No, so, that's, a big, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah. So it's it's, it's pressure because best believe, especially within our brand, bro, like if you turned up, they gonna they gonna make sure it's blasted all over the NB sites, all over like you might get a billboard, like all that. You feel me? That's that's the beauty of being with New Balance. If you turn up, you get everything. So a little bit of that probably playing some of the athletes' heads, stuff like that. I think it's all it, it's it's gonna be a good race. I think both of them gonna get pushed to their limits. I don't think it's gonna be like a one person way ahead. Like how we used to see it, but no, I'm not gonna lie. I probably still roll with see it, bro. See really? it different, dog. See it different. She different, <sighs> dog. I'm still, I'm still thinking about it. Real talk is in the chat mm-hmm. and said, "Don't hold your breath on that matchup." Real talk. What are you trying mm-hmm. to say? You're trying to say, and be the one in real talk. By the way, you're trying to say that uh, Sydney may not show up, or what you mean by that? Mm-hmm. Um. I just think that Sydney's doing the 400 right now because she got bored with the four hurdles. And a bored athlete is a vulnerable athlete. And Femke obviously has a world record holder in her sights. Mm. And didn't Mondo talk about that hungry, before? Who's more hungry than that? Didn't like Mondo talk about like how breaking, breaking records kind of get more? Yeah. He, he spoke about it. Numerous, actually, when I when I saw him in an indoor meet in Birmingham, I asked him yeah. that. I was like, "Are, are you bored? Are you getting bored?" So I I and almost he, feel, I almost feel you when you say that about Sid. Like I, it probably got to the point where she's just like, "All right, like, <laughs> like I'm yeah. I'm not even having fun no more with this. Like it ain't even shocking." Yeah. Me. So I, I I feel you on that. Like Michael Jordan retiring, it's kind of like, well, you know, what I'm saying like, I don't know, I want to play baseball because that's it's a challenge. Mm-hmm. I think humans in general have a natural. Um, a natural what's the word um, appetite for challenge and when things are too easy it, naturally we just aren't aren't tuned into like really be 
in tune with that. I'm trying to see y'all's chat. Y'all's chat isn't coming up. Why am I not seeing the chat? Hold on a second on YouTube. Because oh, okay. YouTube is a cha- apparently the chat's going crazy, and I'm not seeing none of the chats right now. I'm not just I'm not ignoring y'all. I'm just not seeing the chat, yo. Give me a second. Um Jay just oh, let me know. I got know a question though. Oh, here we go. Look, look I got a, I got a question. Oh, there's though. the chat. So you go my thing. Because I, it's, it kind of bases off of what you said, like, oh, Sydney not in the race, so how people going to look at the gold medal when Femke win? So here's my thing. What if Femke go out there and drop something stupid? Do we still think that? No. Do we still? You know what no. I'm saying? Cause no. No. Track no. and field, uh, any uh, given day, fast, anybody can be beat. Yeah, right. that's that's how I'm looking at it. Now, if she go out there and win with, like, a 52, then you could be like, oh, well, then if Sid ran, then it's 51. But if she go out there and drop – some crazy close to a PB type fast. Yeah. I think we can't look at it like, oh, just because Sid won that she did this. Like, if Shorty ready to run that type of time, she ready to go. Yeah. And I think, gonna, I think 50 going to drop something. I'm going to be real with you. I think so, too. I think so, too. Because she, she was running by something. herself in London and ran that time. Mm. And, and, yo, she's tall, dog. She almost my height. Bro, I be trying to tell people Femke is tall, <laughs> dog. That's crazy. She's tall, yo. She's <laughs> over six. I think she's over six feet. She might be six feet flat. She's tall, yo. So she's. Bro, she tall. She's a, bro. She's a specimen, yo. Yeah. Bro, I remember doing um, a shoot. I did a shoot with her, dog. And with, with New Balance at the New Balance uh, indoor meet. Right hand to the man, bro. Like, when. <laughs> I had to put on some shoes, dog. I said, I ain't about to look like no shorty out here next to her, dog. <laughs> I swear. Hey, she was barefoot and still height over me, bro. I said, I said, bro, what's going on? I said, how tall uh-huh. is this girl, dog? Like, she she tall, bro. Like, she walk in the room, you see her. You feel me? Like, she ain't no little one. 100%. Yo, Troy the Jet, I see you very vocal in the chat. Big up yourself, yo. Keep it rolling, yo. You're, you're like the Instagram moderator right now. You know who that is? I don't know who that is. You got a blue check, though. Troy the Jet. Troy the Jet. On what, IG? On IG, yeah. Uh, yo. Trick one. I need to come play slot for the Cowboys. Don't, hey. Follow the light. I ain't ignoring y'all, man. Come on, man. You don't even like that. Let me see what some of these YouTube cats are saying. Let me give y'all some love. YouTube, the Dutch are tall. Oh, Dutch women are usually tall. Like Claver. Yeah, she's tall. Uh, Brandon Cards will go two worlds in the 100 meters if Charleston is injured. Final leg, we were just talking about that. We don't know if that's a possibility because he doesn't have standard. But we're just going to wait. Um, unconventional, you're all going to talk a thing in Bobby. Yeah. We are going to talk a thing in Bobby. Um, I heard another post came out um, about... And this is going to be interesting. To talk about. Mm-hmm. I'm interested in what you think about this. But sure. I heard she came out and said something about um some mental health issues she was having. Did you hear about this? Mm-hmm. Nah. And it it had a lot to do with some of her issues this year. I don't know if it has mm-hmm. to do exactly with why she's not going to worlds. Yeah. Jade, if you're if you're um listening, just let me know. Message me, let me know. But I know it's been a factor since she's been pro. Yeah. And if I'm being honest, when I see her, she doesn't look the same. She doesn't seem like she has the same enthusiasm as she did when she was in in college. Mm. She doesn't she she doesn't look like she's having as much fun. And once that happens, that's obviously a problem because that affects a, that that affects performance, dog. Like you you ain't like you don't like what you're doing, and yeah. you're not going to compete as well. Now I'm all for um, talking about it, right? Um, do you think when athletes talk about their mental health issues when it comes to sport, it takes away from the figure that they are? All right. I'm going to play both sides of this, right? I'm going to play the athlete side. I'm going to say, no, it don't change the figure because at the end of the day, like everybody going to go through stuff, right? So, you're not looking at it as like a form of sympathy. You're just letting people know like, hey, look, I'm going through this. I'm going through the motion. So like, this is just what it is. But from the, um, what's the word? Like from the consumer side who's watching and, and, and taking it all in, you might look at it like, oh man, this person dealing with this. They may not perform well. I don't think I'm going to put my money on that person this go around because of this, this, that, and the third. So 
it all depends on what lens you looking through with the situation. Because we, we know right now in the world of things, bro, we we got the reality of speaking your mind about situations so misconstrued. So it's like people praise it, people talk about it. People like it, people don't. So it's like some people be worried about spit, talking about how they feel about, you know, what's going on in their life, this, that, and the third, because people don't sometimes don't want to hear it. So it, it's a weird situation, especially for her to put that out there or for Bobby to put that out there at the end of the day. Yeah. I, um, I, there was a situation with, um, DeMar DeRozan in Toronto, by the way, mm. Brandon said, um, sent a message in Instagram. I pinned it. He said, I'll clear the air. I have it in writing. If anybody goes down, I'm the next man up like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Brandon. Hey, talk that talk, B. Brandon. Brandon, was that directed to me, dog? Yo, man, I'm a J. If you could go, hey, <laughs> my heart is cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you got to show me something, dog. Like, Marv showed me some shit. So if you want, like it or not, I can like it if you roll. So help me like it. That's what I'm trying to say. Because I know Marvel would do something. You know, show me if you're going to do something, yo. This is what it is. I think that's the. I think that's where everybody's coming from. A lot of people don't know you, dog. Yo, a lot of people didn't even know he came forth. Dog, I, I didn't know he came forth. Which is crazy. Mm-hmm. But I, and then the reason I know about him is because... You always talk about him, Trey. So, so that that's something that you got going for you, Brandon. Is that someone like Trayvon speaks very highly of you? So, I think that I think that it would be cool if you get a shot. And when you get a shot, if you do something with it, hey, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna shut a lot of people up, and a lot of people are gonna have to respect what you do. I remember when Omar didn't make um, the hurdles when everyone wanted to see the Omar and um, Grant matchup, and Omar was cramping. And didn't make yeah. the team in Jamaica. I was like, man, come on, man. You still got to send them. And I, I, apparently there's like a medical card where you could still send mm. someone if you want to. So I was like, yo, they should use that. Why are they going to send um, yeah. for Hansel Parchment came third? Why are you going to send him? <laughs> yeah. Yo, take Hansel out. Send Omar. Hansel went there and mm. won that bitch, yo. He won it. Yeah. It's yeah. not even like he went there and ran well. He went there and won. So... <laughs> I'm all about opportunities, dog, and that was a big. That was a learning experience for me, yo. That that's, was like, bro, that's okay. all I'm saying. Like, imagine, like I said, imagining it all. Brandon goes, and he went. Wait, he did everything nine, that we talk. Nine, nine. Did everything that we talking about would be like void and be debunked. 100%. Everything. It all go down like, in the what, trash. That's what. 100%. That's why I'm big on giving him a shot, man. Like, like shoot, he 100%. earned he earned his spot so, getting to the final. You feel right. me? So. So Brandon, uh, Trayvon's still speaking very highly of you. Make sure you get in your sleep, drinking your water, eating your vegetables. Make sure you make sure you <laughs> put your best foot bitch. forward, because you know what I'm saying. For Trayvon to speak on it, especially he said it to me. Now he's saying it publicly. He's expecting a lot from you, yo. So show us something. Um, anyways, back to um, back to what we we're talking about. So Demar, Demar Derozan was basically a staple mm. in Toronto as far as the guy on the Raptors and the like biggest sports figure in Toronto, arguably, right? Mm. Came out one day, it was talking about how he's dealing with mental health issues and, you know, to struggle every day to be able to even wake up. Not every day, but he's gone through phases where it's, it's really hard to deal with all the pressure and day to day. It made him very human. Mm. Doug. I, I'm not saying this is fact, yeah. but I wouldn't be surprised if that was a contributing factor in them getting rid of him so easy to bring in Kawhi. Mm. Now, Kawhi mm. is a really good player, but I'm just saying, like, once you show that vulnerability, yeah, a lot of people will come to your aid in the, in, in the early stages because they want to, you're a figure and they want to help you and all that stuff. But I think that athletes, I'm not saying athletes should, should hide it. I'm just saying that once mm. you do put it out there, you change people's perspective of you. You become very, you become very human. You become, mm. you become, you don't become as much of a, um, I mean, you don't, you don't seem like something that is um, unfathomable. Like a lot of times mm. you look at athletes and figures and you're like, wow, like to be, that would be amazing. Once yeah. that happens, it kind of brings it down. It's like, well, you're just like me. So yeah, I don't know. Like, and when it comes down to a, a high pressure situation or big races or big meets or big games, 
naturally, because you've become so human all of a sudden, fans ain't really going to fuck with you like that no more as far as like really feeling like you, like you, you're, you got what it takes. That's just the bitter reality of it. That's just people, people are just going to feel like that. And I feel like that's what happens when athletes, it's cool for, for, for figures to, to talk about it and say what they've been through. Cool. But I think there has to be an understanding of the fact that people's perspective of you is naturally going to change when it comes to how you Bro, perform. Mental health. And I don't, I don't even want to get on this topic. So I ain't even going to spend time really talking about it. Mental health is such an interesting thing to me, honestly. And when I say this, and I'm not like obviously bashing it or trying to make it too higher than what it is, but it's an interesting thing to really understand. Because right now we're in a reality where the word mental health or somebody having some sense of mental illness or something just mentally wrong with them has become such a forefront that it's just it just easily rolls off the tongue. I feel like if somebody have a bad day, all oh, my mental health, I'm where I work on my mental health. It's like, you know, it just... It, it, it could come from somebody from obviously the dirt or somebody with picket fence. Like it, it, it can come from all corners. And um, I don't know, for me growing up, I feel like I went through a lot to where I could say I got mental health, but when I stepped on the track, I felt free. So I feel like for me, it will be weird for me to get on the interview and say, oh, I'm dealing with my mental health because this is such a realm that God gave me to feel free. I tell people that all the time. I said, when I used to get mad about stuff back home, I used to just go to the track. Like, I, like, even if I don't run, I just be out there because I'm like, man, this is my fortitude. Like, this is my spot to where I feel free, free of everything. Even if, if the gate locked, I'm sitting in the parking lot. Like, that's just what I did. So it's interesting to me, like, how mental health became such, like, a forefront of everything right now. Like, it, it, it's just an interesting dynamic. Yeah, man, it's becoming it's becoming so mainstream now. Doc. I saw this. Um, I follow this dude. I can't remember his name. I just started mm-hmm. following him. But he makes these spoofy videos. And he, he, he made a yeah. video where basically it showed a video of this, this, this woman having a tantrum on the bed, right? And yeah. the, the quote on the screen, or the caption on the screen said, this is the worst breakup I've ever been through, right? Mm. <laughs> so then he, he acted like he was on the phone with this girl, and he was like, oh, so yeah. you want to break up? Okay, cool. And then he went into his room, and he set the camera up, and then he walked over and sat on the bed, and he went, mm. ah, like basically showing like, I mean, to even go on camera and say and set the camera up and be like, oh, I'm going through this is OK. I get it. You want people to know that you're dealing with shit. But what happened to um, dealing with it within a circle or getting some professional help? Like, what, Bro, we're when, in- when did it become therapeutic to Bro. deal with it on social media, social media? How is that therapeutic? I don't understand. Bro. I'm having trouble understanding the benefit of sharing it with the world like that. You know what I'm saying? Bro. People lost, bro. That's the thing. We, bro, we got people, parents that get on social media and go crazy. Like that, that's what blow my mind. We're so into that realm now to where not only the people of the generation get on social media and like talk, they talk, they want to say this, say that, whoop de whoop, but their parents get on there. And now their parents like embarrassing them, embarrassing their household, their structure. Man, we in a social media era, bro. And people got to understand social media is fake. This is not real. Most of the, most of the people that be on here just be showing y'all a facade, bro. Like, like I don't think people understand that. That's bro. That's why I, you know you know like bro. I ain't been on Twitter and God knows when. And it's not because I don't want to see everybody talk about track woo de woo, bro. It's so much negativity and also yeah, fake man. lifestyle on these platforms. If you look at my Instagram, bro, I follow dirt bikes, sneakers, hats, and that's it. I rarely see track and field on my stuff unless. Uh, track and field news or real talk post something or you post something right. besides that bro yeah. bro, I, I look at dirt bikes all day like I'm not bro all that social media stuff for the birds bro and it's toxic to the mind so I don't know why people I don't know why people run to it to be real with you unless you unless you got a business and you trying to get your business out there man that social media stuff just all for show sure. and people let yeah. people actually let it ruin their lives absolutely Oh, I'm sorry, viewers. It's not Twitter. It's X. Sorry. It's called X now. Bro, I just that? found that out today. What, what is with the X? <laughs> yeah, bro, I, I swear I just that. found that out today, bro. Like, what, 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 is, what is that? <laughs> Your viewers tell me, are, are they still called tweets or are they called Xs now? Or what, is, what are they supposed to be referred to as? I, it, really, I think threads might start taking over, man. I think man. threads might start taking over because... <laughs> oh, you know what? My techno di- technical director was just in my ear talking about how they should call it kisses because X is supposed to be 
Yeah. Kiss. I don't know that. That's whatever it is, dog. It's weird to me now. Twitter's 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 been weird to me though. So I don't know if they're going to totally change the brand of it and change how it influences or how people use it. If it if it totally changes from what Twitter was, cool. Call it X. But if it's exactly the same, yeah, I don't get the name, man. And I don't Twitter, get Twitter about to turn right into MySpace, man. They about to, they changed it to X <laughs> uh, supposedly, and that is just gonna go down here, bro. <laughs> Gonna do it. <laughs> it's gonna be just like MySpace. MySpace. What you know about MySpace? Dog? You ain't old enough for MySpace. Uh, boy, oh, I know about shit, Black man. Planet. What you talking about? How you know about Black Planet, dog? <laughs> That's crazy you know to me. Hey, I had a life before this one. You were on Black. You were on Black Planet. That's that's hey, that's hilarious to me. I was on Black Planet, man. On hey, Reddit. so. <laughs> <laughs> So check this. Um, I saw some talks um, online about, um, and this comes up a lot when I'm talking mm-hmm. to athletes that are looking for coaches. Well, I mean, everyone's always aware of, people, of where people are going, especially when they leave school, as yeah. far as where they're going to go coaching wise. And a big thing now is when you come out of school. Mm-hmm. Your shoe company has it planned out for you where you're going to go as far as who you're going to be coached by. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a fan of this. No. I, I don't think that someone's running fast under a certain regime. They've developed a relationship with a coach. They've developed a routine. They've, they're, they're accustomed to an environment. And then you sign with a shoe company and they say, okay, well, now you're with us. You have to train yeah. with this coach at this place and do that program. Yeah. Am I alone as far as like who's in this conversation between me and you? Like, do you, do you, yeah. do you agree with that? Nah, I don't, I don't think it's smart. It's like, why take somebody out of the element that they feel comfortable in that they run it well? All right. Like, I, I think it's nonsense to be honest. I, I feel like we've seen a lot of like talented college athletes kind of go down the drain because of that ruling. Like, I feel like we've seen many do that. Uh, and it's tough. I, I didn't have to deal with that. New Balance ain't never. They never came to me. It was like, never, hey, huh? you go to a certain person. No, nah, no. Obviously, New Balance don't got a camp like that. But I feel like they're powerful enough to say, hey, we think if this coach can take you or whether you go with them, like, they never said nothing like that. Obviously, we know the brands that really put, you know, push that narrative. But I think it's dumb. I think it's dumb because I feel like you you get a lot of these kids who come out of college running 19 seconds, they running nine seconds, and they're running well. Great shape. The coach know their body. And then you take them and put them not only out of their element, you put them in another city that they probably don't want to be in. And mm-hmm. if their contract is not big, you put, them other, you put them under struggles and trials through trying to find an affordable place, making sure they still got food, uh, you know what I'm saying, all that, like, bills and all those things that you got to uh, take into consideration, you put all that pressure on that individual, then they get down there, they don't perform, it's either the brand dropped them or the coach don't want to coach them no more. So now they kind of dipping and dabbling through trying to find where they can go next. That costs money. Travel costs money. So all that stuff come into play. So when you make them leave what they used to, it just don't make sense, dog. So it don't surprise me when you see some of the big names kind of fall off. Like, it, it ain't easy, yeah. especially if you're not getting paid. Right. I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. The only, I mean, I, I don't feel like New Balance does it. I don't feel like Puma does it. Mm. The only people I hear about that do that is, is um, I mean, Nike and Adidas usually have plans for the athletes they sign. And from a business yeah. standpoint, okay, they, they may find security in coaches that have had athletes who have, performed well under certain coaches mm. and from a business standpoint i could see why they might, might find that more secure to be like well yeah. we know this coach has done what he or she has done so we want you to go there mm. but if i'm talking from a track and field standpoint and maybe they should become privy to this if they want athletes to compete better it's not yeah. the best idea it's mm. not the best idea i think they should revisit that and, and try to do something else um yeah. i saw uh, yeah. someone in the chat saying is Anthony going to cover the U.S. relay? Can't mess or ignore it because he's a massive Shakari stand. 
Yo, man, I think that's been talked to death, man. And yeah, yeah I, to be honest, I ain't really trying to get into it because what else is there to say? There's a story going around about what people think happened, and yeah. none of us were there. And, and that's a fact. it's like, it's like, yo, man, like, who cares? Like, I understand. I understand. It's always cool if you hear about. Okay, think about this. When Draymond, when Draymond punched, um, punched, um, I don't forget his name, Jordan Poole in practice, yeah. right? Mm. She was on video. We got to see it. Yeah. It was news. But I mean, it wasn't bigger news than what was going on in the, the, in basketball world. It's just something that happens. Yeah. But in practice, in practice, you think, you think that Jordan Poole, Draymond fight is the only fight that happened all year? With basketball players, nah. probably fights happening nah. all the time. Probably fights happening all the time. Track practices too. So who gives a shit? And and, and why are we yeah, holding exactly. people accountable about their conduct within environments like that, where the intensity is high? Everyone wants to win. Everyone has certain personalities. There's personalities that clash. Yeah, fights yeah. happen. Who gives a shit? No, well, it's it's like why if you hear about a fight? Obviously, if it's a big name, you hear about the fight in the track world, and it's like, oh my gosh, how why are you fighting? Who gives a shit? Yeah. People fight all the time. There's just probably yeah. hundreds of fights that happen in the track and field world that y'all ain't never even heard of. Who gives a shit? Yeah, no. For That's sure. where I'm at with it. And I ain't trying to hold on to no standard as far as how they should act in the scenario. Especially if they're young. Like, yeah. It's just weird, yo. It's weird. Yeah, like that type man. of talking within the track world is like, okay, you, you address it, but it ain't like a topic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, like you said, like people, we'd have heard probably many stories from multiple avenues of what happened, what went down. Woo -de -woo. It is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, and I, like I said, I, I make a clip for myself. Like whatever you heard, it's going to be he say, she say at the end of the day. Because like you said, nobody was there besides the people on the relay squad. And if you heard, you're going you gonna to hear something biased, right? It's like the game of telephone. You tell somebody one thing, by the time we get to the last person, it the narrative just switched up multiple times. I don't trust nobody worried about from the horse's mouth. So at the end of the day, right. it is what it is. Like, if, is it affecting anybody? Like, okay, you, they worried about the relay. Man, all them people at the at the, at the USA practice, they, they still probably got individual events to worry about. I'm pretty sure that's not shaking none of them. So if they ain't worried about it, then we shouldn't either. Right. Right. Um, let's check this, yo. I, I just put a post out. Um, from the discussion we, we were having with Marvin last week, I, I basically yeah. was asking, I was like, yo, doesn't, doesn't Marcel Jacobs kind of have a chance to win this year? Like, isn't this a good year for him to kind of come back when he's not where he was? We don't know if he's back to where he was, where he was now, but obviously yeah. this season we saw him run and he ain't, doesn't seem to be, turning over the way he's been in the past. He doesn't seem like the same guy, but yeah. wouldn't this be a good year for him to come back and reestablish himself? Cause I mean, nine, nine is, has been pretty consistent this year for everybody. Mm. Yeah, you think yeah. that he has a shot? Uh, has a shot. No, no, I don't, I don't, he has a shot. I don't think like, <laughs> No, like all jokes aside, all jokes aside, I think people got to understand this. You have to be more close to the pack when it comes to your performances than where he is right now. And where he is right now is based off of the injuries that he that he's had, right? So what, what he ran at, uh, what was it, Paris? Well, he ran 10-2. So, I think he ran 10-2, yeah. 10-2, what? Let's say around that, right? So... Let People already up. saying, yeah, yeah. Why you look that up? I finished what I'm saying. So what yeah. I'm pretty sure you've probably uh, acknowledged and myself acknowledge and many others acknowledge, Budapest is probably going to be a 9-8, possible 9-7 race. So you're going to ask a man to drop down from 10 to 10 3 whatever range he's in of fitness, all the way down to that. If he does it, we don't know nothing about track and field. We don't know nothing about track and field if he does it. And we we shouldn't do no other podcast. We should just let people run and not talk about nothing. If he does that, well, don't say we. Don't say we, because I think that ten twenty one, first race coming off of injury, he didn't really run through the line. I mean, answer, answer, 
Anson. He wasn't in shape, obviously. Anson. I got Anson. hurt I at the indoors fall, and still ran faster. So you can't say that. Okay. You can't say that. Yeah, you but can't not say everyone that. is the same. Some people are totally different. This is my point. Nothing. He's about to go against Noah Lyles, Christian Coleman, Fred. Uh, nine Omenyala. nines right now. Nine nines. Bro, but we don't know what's going to happen in Worlds. And I'm pretty sure, like we said, it's probably going to be a 9-8 race to win. Or a possible 9-7, depending on what people have been doing at practice. We don't know. So you're going to put... <laughs> You're gonna put so these he, type so he of could be doing that in practice. In, he could be doing something sp- special in practice right now, bro. You telling me off of practicing alone? You you know you in nine eight nine seven well, shape without racing? Y'all were confident in Shelly. Y'all were confident in Shelly's practices. You ain't confident bro. in Marcel's practices. And, sh- and Shelly ran. Sh- Shelly ran ten six and then ran to ten eight. He was at nine eighty and went back to ten two. Okay, but I'm just saying, if he can, he's not a 10 2 guy, obviously. He, he won the Olympics. I'm not saying he is, but I'm asking about the jump. We're, you, you're telling me without race, race readiness, race sharpness, you're confident enough to say that from 10 2, where he was still training before he ran that race, in May, he's training in now. May. Was, it, was it May? I think it was May. In May, yeah, May. yeah, late May. That he's going to jump June, from sorry, that. June, June 9th, June 9th. June 9th. That he's going to jump from June 9th, 10 2 to a possible 9 8 to win it? Hey, if he does, minus, like I said, I'll. Minus 0. 0.9. Tip my head. That's, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It's still the simple fact, bro. Like, I don't think you understand that it's not going to be an easy race for him to win, regardless. It's not going to be an easy race. Metal? Bro, that 10 2 to 9 seconds is crazy for me to see, bro. <laughs> crazy for me to see. Because <laughs> it was 10 oh, 2. Come on, man. He hadn't been running. And he, he didn't, come on. He didn't really run through the bro. line, dog. But, bro, it ain't think, about I running think, through the line. It's, it's all the components that he needs to be able to produce the race that he needs. That's, that's what I'm saying. Okay, let me ask you this. Did his start this year, hurt or not hurt, when he ran in pairs, did it look like anything of his 641? Or any other starts he's had in, in previous years, or previous year, I should say. Um, be real. No, no, no. He 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 didn't get out the way he usually does. But oh. I think the funny thing is, oh, myself, hold on, hold on. Let myself. me let me let me let me let me let me just finish this. Let me just finish this. Uh-huh. Now his top end. We know Marcel for his top end. His technique, beautiful mechanics. Right. Has it looked like what it looked like previous season? No. Um. Only. No. Only at Europeans. Indoors, he seemed European. to have a shift, but <laughs> his shoes were different. Exactly. So you know, we ain't even gonna get on that. Let's not get on that. Let's not get on that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's I not get it, on though. that. I did see it. I saw it. I saw it. I was like, oh, Look, there he is. All I'm saying is, it'll take a lot as far as what he needs to fix, and I'm pretty sure his camp noticed. It'll take a lot for him to fix what he needs to to be able to produce a performance. To beat the Noah Lyles, the Fred Curleys, the Christian Coleman's, and so on and so forth. It's going to take a lot for him to do that. That's all I'm saying. I'm speaking from a scientific standpoint, bro. I just don't see that happening. I don't. Okay, check this though. I'm looking at it right now. Mm. He was he was about he was in like third place at fifty. Mm. When? He he absolutely looks flat in Paris. He absolutely okay. looks flat. Okay. Didn't run through the line. So let me can yeah, I ask you something real quick? Who did he mm-hmm. race against in that race? He ran against Omen Yala, Noah Lyles. Noah Lyles, Johan Blake. Um, now, I'm, I'm, let's start right there. Let's start right there. Because you, you you said two notable people that can have a good start, Omen Yala and the Johans. They can have a good start. If they don't have a good start and someone like Noah Lyles is close, do you see them being starters like the Mees, the Marvins, the Colemans, the Freds, and all those people that he would have to run against? At full health. No. So if he's side by side, and we know for a fact that Noah has talked about him not clicking how he wants to with putting it together the first 60, like how he was indoors, outdoors. If he's behind or even close, where do you think he's at as far as time? Probably 655, 660, going through the 60. That's not going to beat Fred. That's not going to beat Noah. That's not going to beat Coleman. It's not going to beat them guys. He's going to have to have the hell of a... Last 40. He's, 
Hold on, my bad. I got a call. I mean, his, his last 40 will have to be crazy. It will have to be insane, bro. And as we seen right now, top end wise, you got Fred, Noah, and Tobogo. You telling me he going to out top end speed them? Well, I think it's fair to say that everyone's top end hasn't really sh- hasn't really looked how it's looked in the past. Tobogo. Um, but Tobogo's been... That 1950 you know, was crazy. Fast. It was. In the 1950s, was. was crazy. Yo, Maestro, big up yourself, yo. No, he has he has been coming along lately, though. Even in this race, Tobogo ran. Well, he ran a season best ten oh five. It's not bad, but mm. he he opened the season ten one mid, I believe. Ten. Mm. I mean, first race of the season, you never really know what to expect. These guys are like four or five races in by the time Marcel got to them. I don't think it's that okay. far fetched. Is all I'm saying. I, I'm I I'm not ready to say my to get on the podium this week. I'm going to say my metal picks next week. But what I will say this week, I mean, it's not far-fetched. Rich, what are you saying, yo? Rich Bell says Darnell has the best top end in the world. That's debatable. You know, you know, and that, that New York race was was on point. But I think it's debatable it after was. what we've seen with, with uh, Tobogo. But after you, if, if I would say before the Tobogo race, I would say Zarnell top end was show enough exemplified at that at that New York race, and that was crazy, because I didn't think I didn't think that was gonna come out of the woodworks. Yeah, but I want to see him with people that can shift with him, because Christian didn't have a good race, and he pulled away from Christian and Akeem. Blake what what, what was uh what was their times? Akeem's and Christians. What was their times in that race? Because then we we just gotta ask ourselves and out. I feel like I'm being like other people in this situation. It's like, do we say Coleman and Akeem had a bad race or Zarnell just had a hell of a race? Because we say he didn't have nobody to shift with him. Let's be a hundred. And any sprinter can say this. <laughs> Coleman is the shifter. <laughs> like Coleman is going to get out and he's going to accelerate and you have to go catch him. He'll so, shift. He'll shift. He will. He will. You, but you, he, how much he, do you know about so cars? Shifted. How much do you know about cars? My dad's a mechanic. Okay, so he was a mechanic. Coleman is like Coleman is like a a, a Toyota Supra, uh, like like he he has a short shifter or like a Mustang. He's a short shifter, so it's like boom boom yeah. boom, like he's gone. Like you know your yeah. challenges, old nineteen nineties SSs, all that. Like those long shifted, those long, they t- it, it, you got to go all the way back to get the second, go all the way up to third. You know what I'm saying? So his is like boom boom, like he's like the Mazda, what is the X. I forgot the Mazda one. Uh, oh, what's the? Well, and then he know that. But my point is, he's the person that's gonna get out and go. So for Zarnell to catch somebody like that, I think that's impressive. I, I mean, that's impressive. to catch him in the last thirty, though. I mean, Coleman shifts in the middle of the was race. Was it the last yeah, thirty when he started the move? Yeah, though? yeah, yeah. He was. He wasn't even winning. He wasn't even winning to seventy. He no, I'm not saying he had cats. to be winning, but to you got to think to nah, see somebody it was, it move. Was just, it was just better maintenance. It was just better maintenance. What I got from that was really good maintenance. You and your maintenance, dog. I think the car you're talking about. I think the car you're talking about, <laughs> and I only know this because of um. Remember that game back in the day? Um, ah, oh, it was a driving game, man. My, uh, what? Uh, Forza. Nah, it was more of a street driving game. All I know is I used to um I used Midnight to Club? mess with the no I used to mess with um Need for Speed Need for Speed I I, I, Man, used I to thought you was a the, gamer, dog. I'm a gamer, dog. I, I brought the game up, dog. I, d- d- you would want to see me in that game. I was real, dog. But anyways, um, <laughs> I used to mess with the Skyline, and I used to mess with the RX-7. That's what I was thinking. That, I, so RX-7, that's the Mazda, right? I want to say that's the yeah, R- that's, uh. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking about, but I was still thinking about a, a Skyline or a, yeah, the, uh, the GTR. That's what I was thinking about. I couldn't, mm-hmm. I couldn't get it out. My mind was rambling, but yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I see, I see what you're saying, but I just feel like Marcel. I mean, Darnell had an exceptional race. Whether I'm ready to, whether I'm ready to bank the world championships on that one race, I don't, I don't think I'm ready to. No, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying you should. I'm not saying you should. We we were talking about top end speed. I feel like that was a great ex, like example of like some 
keen top end speed to go catch somebody and then move through the line. Cause Zarnell, Zarnell reminds me of like how Fred run. Like Fred run damn near the whole curve after he passed the hundred. You feel me? Like Zarnell yeah. runs the same way. So like to see that from Zarnell, like I think about, it, I've been racing Zarnell since 2013. So that to me, that race was like, oh damn, I ain't, I ain't never seen that before. I never seen that before. That that was, that was on point. You feel me? No glaze, cause I don't, I don't do that. But yeah, <laughs> hey, he, I, I just need he to should see. not. I, I need to see another. Now, would I say he go out there and win it? Like you said, I gotta see how the rounds go. But well, check this. It, like mm-hmm. pre pre prediction wise, right? Mm-hmm. This week this week would be pre pre predictions. Yeah. But next week we're doing some real predictions. Are you gonna join us next week? Because I was talking to RG three earlier this week. He he may join. Yeah. I hop on. Yeah, what I am I doing? Cool. I'm rehabbing. <laughs> Shit, I ain't got nothing to do. I think that if I cool. did, I'd be racing somewhere. You feel me? Yeah, I'm going to highlight him again. But still, I think you should jump on mm. for just the predictions because your predictions, if you didn't do it next week, I would need to hear your predictions now. I don't know if you're ready okay. for that. I need the very last second. And Wednesday next week is going to be as close as you're going to get for me anyways, publicly. Mm. Uh, Bizarre now. Wait, so you ain't you ain't got nobody in mind who you want to pick? I have two people that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be picking this week or next week. Ooh, I'm listening. Okay, this is subject to change. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. Mine podium, too. On the podium, on the podium, I have Fred and Christian on there. Okay, we got the same ones. Yeah. Now, as far so as your third? third spot, if I was to pick it this week. Hmm. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> I'm going with Omanyala. I'm going with Akani. I'm going with Akani. My Africans are going to beat yours, Doc. He ain't going to beat. I don't even think that Omanyala is even nervous about Akani. I don't even think he's even thinking about him. Big hey. one named Akani Sabini, by the way. But. Uh, he, he, he looked right good now, the last like you said, everyone. subject to change. And hold on, are we doing subject to change like watching through the rounds, or we got to be no, locked no, on. Doc, that ain't that ain't a prediction no more. Obviously, that's gonna change through the rounds. But, yeah, no, um, no, no, I'm saying like, like if me and you on the phone, we discussing like day who gonna win, we, we can talk about who we think gonna win once we see the races, right? Right. But I'm just saying right now, as far as what I've seen and how I feel about it, I, I go with them three. I go with them three. Oh now, like God. you said, subject to change. Subject to change, bro. Subject to change. I'm Lewis letting you know now I'm gonna have a different I'm gonna have a different pick come to final. Of, like I'm going to have a different pick. You you, you gotta so, you huh? gotta you gotta understand because I am an athlete <laughs> in the sport, I know how it can be when you get to the races. I, we're going right. to see who want to get to that final. We won't see who wants it bad. And I think you will see that throughout the rounds. So, I'm, mine is really subject to change. I'm going to roll with Fred. I'm going to go with Coleman. I'm going to go with Connie. Connie. Okay. Bro, you, you sleep on a Connie if you don't think he... Bro. You're sleeping on Omen Yala. I'm not. That catch, he's due. He's I'm due. Not. I'm not. Nah, he's due. And, and and I'm sure he's gonna make sure his flat gets there on time this time, or his bags get there on time this time. He's his, hey. he's gonna take so much care in his hand luggage this season. I bet you his hand luggage is gonna be. He's, he's gonna have his hand luggage prepared two days in advance. Spikes, singlet, some supplements. Hopefully they're not water based. Yeah, he's gonna be ready, dog. He'd be ready. Hey, you think Yo, of Kanye? People in the comments. <laughs> I think he is, but you know what? You know what I think a harder barrier to break through is Whoa. than um, newcomers. I think I think getting over that fourth place barrier is tough, man. That fourth. Who is a newcomer? Place, no, but I'm saying I'm saying oh. he's not a newcomer. He's been in fourth and fifth a lot. It's it's routine for him now. It's a part of his reality. To break through that, I think is is going to be difficult. More so but than someone who's been in finals. But he can. Hundred percent. Yeah, he has what it takes. Okay, but, that, that's but, all I'm I mean, saying, bro. No, it's a good pick. 
It's a good pick. I just think mm. I have the better African. <laughs> hey, people in the comments are trying to roast me about me saying that Andre has a shot. <laughs> in the 200? In the 200. Now, I will say this, okay? The show last week, I said, if mm. Andre... I was talking about the 100, though. I was like, yo, if Andre runs 10-0... Nine nine, and you yeah. know, beats Aaron as close to Aaron. He'll 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 have a shot at the podium, because mm-hmm. he just shows if he's in shape, he has shots at the podium. Listen to this. As far as the two hundred is concerned, if I was talking, I was spoken about it last week. If Andre was to beat Aaron, and to mm-hmm. run twenty point oh at, at mm-hmm. Canadian Trials, I definitely would put him on the podium because. Championship performer wise, he just needs mm. to be in some decent shape. 20.0, yeah. 20 flat, 20.01, but 20 flat, call it 20 flat. It's not slow at all. You just ran in yeah. um, Memphis the other day, beat a mm. solid field, not an amazing field, but he won easily. I think that once the championship comes, championship performers can chop some tents off, yo. To win? Mm. Okay. I'm not ready to do predictions this week. Shut I up. I will say this. Shut up. I will Shut up. This. Shut up. I will. You, listen, listen, bro, I'm bro. not ready to do predictions this week, but just listen to me. Hear me out. Hear me out. I don't bro. know how Noah is going to respond oh. to the 100 meter rounds. Bro. We don't know. Dr- bro, bro. I, what we my do dog, know is that bro, after the 200 meter rounds last week, the 200 meter rounds last, 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 last year, yo, Noah looked tired in the relay. So I get the that, rounds bro, took, but... took a toll on him. Now the hundred, and then and then and then doing the heat and then the semi of the two hundred is it going to be the same? I bro, I think the, I think the Arion is a huge threat because he's going to be sitting waiting for the two. But the guys sitting waiting for the two, the guys sitting waiting for the two, I think yes. are going to be the biggest threats. That's the most I'm going to say right okay, now. Okay, hear me Aside out. From Noah, he's a huge talent. But bro, Dre, Dre, and I say this, and I stick up for him. Dre is top tier. He's been top tier since he came out on the circuit. He's proven himself multiple multiple Olympic medals, multiple world championship medals. He will have to bring the wrath of God to drop down to win the 200. It's going to be a 19-4 to win that, bro. He's going okay. like, to have to run 19-4. to win. Okay, yes. 19-4 to win. I'm uh, only saying that because that's mm-hmm. what you brought up. You brought At the end of your statement, you was like, to win? And I'm, I was trying to shut that down because that's a lot, bro. You're asking a lot. 19 4 to win. I, I'm not ready to make predictions this week <laughs> for the 200. But 19 4 to win, okay. Now, podium wise, I think to get on the podium, 19 6. Now, podium, 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 Dre, is hard to bet against. And I want to say this anybody who lets last weekend race at Paul Doyle's, his agent, track meet, where you probably just running there for Paul Doyle, do not let that determine what Dre going to run at the championships. Like, Dre went to the Canadian trials because he had to make right. the team. So right. it pushed him a little bit. His what season best going in was 23, 20.3. He dropped down to 20.0. Like, well, 20 point Aaron, who's run 20.0 numerous times. So he, and, and this is my point. Well. So when the medal is on the line at the championship, you can't count out Andre. You don't know what he's going to pull out. Now, if you ask me, do I think he's going to pull out a 19-4? Whew. Boy, whatever the hell Dre drinking, he need to pass that bit along because that would be crazy. But can he get on the podium? I, I don't. Hey, like Marvin said, bro, death taxes and Andre the grass. Man, like that. Hey. He'll be on the podium. He, he, He'll be he on get the podium. on the podium some way, somehow. He'll I don't know how he do it, bro. I don't know how he do it. I'm telling you. He'll be you. on the podium. But it's going to be I'm hard. Saying, it's going like, to be hard for him to get on that, bro. Tobogo is going to bring that heat. Arian going to bring that heat. Kenny going to bring that heat. Uh, the one Cuban dude who always dies his how type of damn colors. He going to be out, he going to be out there. It, you got a lot of people. Andre got a lot of work. He got a lot of work to go so get on that so podium. tell me this. You're okay with seeing a couple decent performances from Shelly and saying she could win. Hold on. With some of these women that are rolling right Pauls. now. Pauls. Pauls. D- 10-8 is decent. Let's be realistic. Sharika, Shakari, and Talu are really the only ones rolling. that's They're ahead rolling. of her. 
They're but ten eight ain't just decent. Ten eight is good. No, ten eight is, is good. good. But to say to say that she's going to go and beat them, you don't feel like that's the same. That, that's the same kind of stretch, as opposed to saying as my stretch. Pause. Saying mm. that Andre, after running twenty flat, can get into nineteen seven, nineteen six range mm. and get on the podium. Mm. Okay, it, it, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you something that's going to answer that question, right? And I'm, you know, I'm not trivia track and field smart. I'm, I know the science and the numbers and all that, but trivia track and field, I'm, I'm not that big on. Last time Shelly was not on, if I can recall, she got second, right? When she, what, what was it, Tajeda or somebody? What, what was it? Like she got second. If, yeah, yeah, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Second or third. So I think. So, and that was that was then. We're talking about the same woman that the world called Mommy Rocket, who has shown herself countless of times. I have the credentials and the medals to prove it. You just count her out of the podium? Even, even when she opened up after the whole knee situation and dropped two 10 eights? Hold That's up. crazy to me, Trey, bro. Hold up. Before you keep hold that thought, Marcel is in the chat right now. Just gave a yeah. couple of thumbs up. Marcel, man, yo, I was just talking about you potentially winning, man. You need to be in bed. If you're in Italy right now, I think it's like one in the morning, man. Come on, man. You got to come through for what yeah, I was just saying. I said, I said you got a shot. You need some sleep, dog. You need some sleep, man. man uh, maybe you took crazy. a nap today. If you took a nap today, you're okay. But I was just talking about the fact that you, there's an opening for you to, make, to win this shit, yo. So you got to make me look good, yo. What you got to do? What you got to do, dog. Um, they say yeah, 2011. Yeah, that's what it was. 2021, she stumbled Tokyo and got silver. Who? Shelly? Shelly, bro. Stumbled in 2021? Wait, 2021? What was she going to do without the I think, stumble? I think it's about the woman jump. Stump. Mm. She was going to be the lane without the stumble? Man, come on, man. She wasn't about, mm. about, about, about to do anything with Elaine that year, yo. Let's just, that's just, that's not do that. Let's not do that. Come on, man. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Yo, you see what, what happens to track field if you ain't running fast? Yo, people just forget all your capabilities. People don't even think Elaine was what she was now. How about Shelly would have beat her? Just because we've seen Shelly roll out since then. No, um, Shelly gonna do a thing. Shelly gonna do a thing, dog. Yeah, Ratch is saying stumbled where Shelly fans need to relax. They do need to relax, yo. They be coming at me hard, too, yo. And I like Shelly. This out, yo. It's mm. a good stream, yo. Um, so as you guys heard, Trey's joining us again next week for the prediction show. As far as Justin should be back, R. and RG, we we're talking about it, so we'll see. That's a good prediction show, though. <laughs> That'd be a good prediction show. Yeah. I, we're only doing so, Trey. Get your picks together. We're only doing one and fans. Viewers, get your picks together. Get ready for the discussion. We're going to be streaming on this exact same platform on YouTube as well as doing the, you know, the Instagram as well. But watch this. We're only doing the men's and women's 100, men's and women's 200, men's and women's 100 meter and 110 meter hurdles, men's and women's 400. And you know what? Because he's going to be here if he does come. And even still, the men's and women's... Um, 400 meter hurdles. Let me. That'd be. That'd be. I mean, Fabke is obviously gonna win. Hey, I got. I got. I got it's a question. Gonna run. I got What's a question. Up? What's up? What is the possibility of the U.S. women sweeping the hurdles? Well, now that um, Toby ain't going, actually, hell no. Nah, they're not gonna. Not gonna. They're not, three women aren't gonna beat. Camacho Quinn. Hey, I just got. Hey, I just got. You know, I got a spark up the. You know, nah, what I'm saying? I got a spark nah, up the room. Nah, nah, you nah, know nah, what I'm nah, saying? That's not gonna happen, Doug. That's not gonna happen. No. <laughs> An event that could get swept. Well, if Andre wasn't in shape, maybe the men's 200, but he's in shape now, so it's a different story. And to both. Wait, what? Bro, let's let's be honest, bro. USA man sweeping the sweeping the 200, bro. <laughs> That would Bro, never happen. Sweep. We might They're sweep the honey. Sweeping. We might sweep the honey. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what you, 
What you mean? We might sweep that bit. What you talking about? Hey, Brandon. Brandon. Look at man. This guy's giving you some. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Why you got why you gotta call my dog Brandon? This guy's giving you some give you, well, that's the third spot, dog. So what? He's, he's Bro, we send it four. What finisher. you mean? We send it four. Why you had to call Brandon out of all people? See what I'm saying? Bro, you disrespectful. You disrespectful. Christian. No uh now when now when Brandon podium? Now when Brandon send them Brandon ten goons. I don't want to hit them. Now. Look, when you see them Floridians out there in London, I don't want to hit them. Now. Hey, man. You play, you I'm playing saying with I that need man. some proof, yo. I'm <laughs> saying I need some proof. I have no reason. No. You know how many athletes I'd have to speak about if I was just going off a whim? Like, oh, you got a shot. Or, hey, potentially. Mm -hmm. Every athlete that's out there, oh, potentially you could win. Everyone who hadn't won before, or everyone that has won before, was in a position where they never won before. I can't be picking them people out. That's thousands of people, yo. You got to show me something, Doc. That's what it is. Hey. But, Sweeping the hundred? Nah, sorry, Trey. You I couldn't see it. Though? Believe that you—you you got a Connie on there to this week. No, no, oh, look, check me out. You couldn't see. You couldn't see the USA sweeping. No, like no, no, no way. No, there's no way you're sweeping two years in a row. No, it's not happening. No, sorry, no. So, so not, let me ask you this: this year. If it if it sweeps, what does what what does that do for you? Can we get like a a, 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 a Instagram apology? Or get get you to wear a team what? USA a team USA shirt. I don't you know hate on you guys in the hundred. I never hate on you guys in the hundred. I just say so you why, guys why? are very bad at relays. <laughs> we we need to get to talk about that. <laughs> okay, yo, Brian. Hey, we, hey, we no, we're gonna say no. We gotta take no. five minutes to talk about this real quick. Well, not too you deep though. Let's let's uh, pause. Let's not too uh, deep. We got five minutes. Pause. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we got five <laughs> minutes. We got five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Now, mm. in it. I, it you know why it doesn't work out for you guys? And it sucks because you guys are so fast. Because you guys are so mm. fast, your exchange zone becomes smaller. You have mm. to do things quicker in that, in that 30 meter exchange zone. It's, it's just what mm. it is. You guys roll, so hey. Mm. And you guys haven't been able to do that. It's because mm. of that you guys are bad at relays. So it's, it's working against you guys that you guys are so fast. It's not, it, the task is just different for you guys. Yeah. Now Canada, they're in a rhythm right now. Uh, the, their handoffs are like, it's like layups. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. The only real threat I see to Canada right now is Great Britain. You s what? Bro, yeah, I'm gonna keep it a band with you. If USA don't win it, Japan taking that bitch straight to the crib. Japan taking like that bitch straight to the crib. Cause like they slid, handoffs. they slid, and they ain't even have Hakeem on them. If I was a relay coach, people would be doing underhand handoffs. Man. But they 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 did, but like oh, bro, all I'm saying that? is can you really picture can you really picture Japan and 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 and, and Fred and Andre and um Reese Prescott chasing down a Japanese sprinter trying to catch up? That's no. That's not going to happen, dog. They'd have to be ahead and you see these guys chasing the no. That would never happen, Doc. They've they been, they been double four. They've been double four. Not to win. I, bro, all I'm saying is, in the era, even when there was the Bolts, and we still had Gatlas, they was there. They was in the mix. They was in the mix. They're in the mix. They're they're in the mix team. They will never I'm win. I'm just saying, cause what, 2015, what? They got silver? Trey, I want you to, I want you to picture this in your head. <laughs> A Japanese sprinter hey. out in front <laughs> coming into the all, last exchange. All I'm saying. And holding off saying. Fred Curley or maybe Noel Isles, Andre DeGrasse, and and um Reese Prescott. Or is Arnold? So let me ask you this. Him at anchor? Can I ask you one question? Can I ask okay. you one question? Hmm. Who last year on the Canadians team ran nine seconds? That is the season best. Who ran nine seconds? Aaron didn't run nine not seconds. Not when dated. Not when dated. When legal. Who ran nine seconds? Even if you yeah, just say Aaron, even we get Aaron an honorable nine second run. It's a special case, though. It's a special case. Oh my God. Not just because Canada is a special case, bro. You don't need no, because nine they're, seven they're, they're, guys, they're, a nine eight guys to win a four by one. You don't need it. You need the, great you handles. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. That's what it's I'm saying. Very, very rare. But you have, come on, Doug. You have two people who've been. In like perennially in the hundred meter final for the past six or seven years, like they're 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 really they're man them, yo. Like they're they're running. Even if they run nine seconds last year, they're they're in the mix all the time. Those those are two very legit sprinters. 
You if the USA it, 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 don't win, Japan will take it in a landslide. They will never win. Japan will <laughs> never win unless someone drops the baton. B, hey. B said I'm talking nonsense. B, you think that Japan could win the 4 by one That's crazy to me. That's they didn't even crazy. have Sonny Brown. And they and slid. There's Italy, too. There's Italy, too. Look, look. Japan it, to the crib. They, they taking it to the crib. Hey, look at me. You got your fans out here that sounded crazy, yo. Japan's not going to win that. I'm sorry. You're right. USA going to win. Next. But at the end of the day, if USA don't win, Japan is winning. Okay. USA going to win it. USA. But if USA don't win it, Japan is winning. <laughs> so you don't, even have, <laughs> you don't even have Canada first or second? Nah. You didn't have them first or second last year either. Yeah, you probably didn't have them on the podium last year. No, right? no, no, no. 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 I, didn't, definitely, I definitely had Canada. Podium, they won. I had, no, no. Relax. I, de- I definitely had, had I definitely had Canada getting on. I had Canada getting on the podium, yes. Because I know for a fact all okay. three guys outside of Dre was running well. They was running well for so who they are. You don't have them on the podium this year? You don't have them on the podium this no, year? No, I do. I do. How? They get you third. Have USA. You have USA. Japan. Japan. You have Canada third? Yeah. So you don't have yeah. Great Britain on the podium? No. They'll, they'll get close fourth. They'll be leaning with Cal- they'll be leaning with Canada. This is the best team they've had in years. Everyone's okay. run nine seconds. Every single runner has run nine seconds. And they always have good handoffs. They stretch the zones. They they're risky, okay. but they've shown mm-hmm. that they can manage the zones very, very well throughout all the years. They beat y'all. The great Britain's yes. beating y'all when y'all had nine seven runners. Is my is my mic on? Yes. If USA it's don't like win, Japan this. will win it. What I'm saying it will be you U.S., Britain, you had Japan, the podium is madness and Canada. Canada. It's not. It's not. Respect, respectfully. Hey, why you playing? They may beat y'all. They, they, they not be, they not beating us. Mm. The world championship silver medalists have gotten faster, mm. and you're taking them off of the podium. Mm. That's what you're doing right now with your crisp mic. The silver medalists at the World Championship last year, I'll say it again, have gotten faster. And you're taking them off hey. of the podium for Japan. Hey. Answer. I'm clipping this, man. I'm sorry. Answer. This needs to be a clip. Because no. Let, let me make sure. Sorry, it's, no. it's like an ASMR. Can y'all, you get, you can hear that? Yeah, I hear this nonsense. It will, you it will be that. USA, Japan, Canada. That will be the order. That will be the order. I'll say that. That will, that will be I'll the say order. order. I'll say. This is the only <laughs> I'll do this week. <laughs> this I'll do this week. <laughs> nah, I'll do a prediction next week. Oh, you weak I, as hell. I'm sticking to my word. Stick to my word. <laughs> How am I weak? I just, I'm sticking to my word. I'm sticking to my Man. word. Hey. I'll tell you this. Next, this week nor next week or the week after, Japan ain't going to be on there. So here's a little hint for y'all. There's a little preview of my prediction. They will never be on the podium that I got for for Bro, that's crazy. Right you don't, you don't got. No, it's not crazy. It's not crazy. They're not going to end up on the podium, Doc. Right. But then again, you. So let me. Can, can I say this? If y'all drop the baton, wait, wait, wait. If y'all drop the baton, wait. they'll be on there. If y'all drop the baton, and look, wait, time, 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 time. Brian, Brian, wait, don't wait. cut us off. We need about twenty more minutes. I need to say Jamaica, something. I need to Jamaica say something. It's rolling right now. Jamaica is rolling right now too. So that's another team. Japan can I can know. I can I go back to your logic that you brought up about a couple minutes ago? Let me bring my mic. Sure, what? Okay, this is my thing, right? Everybody on these relays that we name it, USA included, running hundreds, running two hundreds. Japan is about to be fresh. Yeah. Sonny Brown is the only person on that relay. What running? Probably the open hundred, or let, let alone probably gonna make it to the final. Everybody else gonna be fresh. Why everybody else running, running, 103 rounds, 203 rounds. Japan will be a threat. They not beating USA. But everybody else, oh, yeah, they take it down. Okay. So if you're talking about fresh, you're talking about your second leg or anchor leg runner who last year looked visibly flat mm. after the 200 alone. Mm. He's running the 100 three rounds and the 200 three rounds you're saying that he's not going to be flat bro you worried about the wrong thing bro 
What, how about, is it the wrong about, thing? Hey, That's what did you, you have that team on the podium. It's actually the right thing. Yeah. I feel like we need to see him. I, I need to see because what I have seen was him mm. being flat and tired. I mm. need to see the fact that okay, he can handle that and still be fresh. It's not a knock on Noah. He's obviously say, very look, talented look. and one of the nastiest no, sure. anchor legs I've ever seen in my life. Okay, mm. but after all those rounds, I need to see if he can do that in the relay. I look, haven't seen that. All I'm saying is. Based off what I've heard, and if it's done correctly, and they actually took the time to figure things out that they need to figure out, I think the U.S. is going to run away with it. But (laughs) even if they don't, I think they still win. I think they still win. I'm speaking real. I think they still win. I I trust in that. And I see Japan taking taking down everybody else, bro. That's just straight up. That's straight up. How could the U.S. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's right. The US, you guys hey. had the three medalists last year, okay? And didn't three win. Three medalists in what? In the hundred. We had didn't win one medalist. One. We had one medalist. Fred yeah, got hurt 100. and I did not get on the relay because of some political situation. Well, what I'm saying is the level was higher. The level was higher. The people but we didn't have that guy. Bro, let's be honest, bro. If it was Coleman, me, Marvin, Fred, we was walking away with that hole. We would have been finishing while that. everybody's still running, bro. We don't know that. We don't know that. <laughs> bro, we would have walked away with that, man. We would have walked away with that. About it. This, is, this situation, I'm going to have to go with um, Mike Marsh's judgment. That <laughs> <is a> lot <laughs> on the <floor> one. Sorry. <laughs> That's crazy. Right. Yeah, hey. you called, dog. You didn't belong on there. Shit. This is, you were ready for it, I guess. Mark, Mike hey. said it. Shit. I, Hey. All I'm saying is y'all had some y'all had some real horses last year and came second. Man. Now this year y'all are trying to find people to even have the standard for the hundred. And Bro. you think that they're gonna win? No, they will Bro. not win. No. Bro, no, they can get on the podium. The US, they can get on the podium if they, the can, hang, if they can hang on to the baton. Bro, I'm sorry. Satoshi Satoshi Sin Shinity. Yes, he sounds Japanese. He hmm. said, Trayvon, are you okay? <laughs> Even though you're talking well, about that, Japan. Well, <laughs> you may be talking about, talk, talk about what you're saying about the USA team. Probably like wait, what, what, what you on? What you on? Satoshi, you, you on Instagram are you Japanese? Or YouTube? If, if you're not Japanese, on YouTube. Satoshi, if you're Japanese, oh. let me know. I'm not trying to be who, offensive. Who, who? You said Satoshi? Sounds like a Japanese name. No, I got, I got the chat on this side, but I'm looking for the name. Satoshi. Oh, Sin. Satoshi. Satoshi. I think it's Japanese. So why he said I'm okay? Because he said I can see Japan winning the relay. Uh-huh. I said, Maybe yeah, he's it, talking it, it, about you talking about what you're saying about USA. Would have walked away he's with half that, Asian. Bro. Okay. Would have walked away with You got to be more specific. Half Asian though. Is it Japanese? I don't know some Japanese See, people would get offended by that. Would have walked away. Yo, with that, bro. there's a bunch of people. Who's in here, who's in here trying to? They um, say Trayvon, why weren't you on the relay last year? Political reasons? Because I practice. Best believe I practice. It wasn't it wasn't you, in, you in Houston, close, but I practice. I practice. Yeah, but Trayvon, so, Trayvon, you weren't at the camp, man. You weren't at the, you weren't at the prioritized relay camp, and you know it's just the way it goes. It goes, is man. what it is. Yeah, you know USA I'm, winning, I'm Japan sure getting second, Canada getting third. We're gonna end it with that. All right, Brian, you can shut us down, uh, baby. We can end it, we can end it with that. <laughs> Viewers, um, if you want to go on my Instagram and see last year when Trayvon made his four by one predictions or what he would have predicted you can go ahead and look at that he's obviously very patriotic and that's good i'm patriotic too usa usa but my patriotism was a part of a gold medal performance in that four by one um still world champions back to back can we do back to back pause can we do it no can canada do it it will be the only time in history that it happened the year after a world championships, the year after, and probably the only time it'll ever happen. The world championships, two literally two years in a row. Won't happen. Canada can win. You see, our third leg ran 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 uh ten flat. He wasn't run ten flat last year. And he 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 rolls on that third that. leg. Rolls. He's the it's fastest third a, leg Canada's bro. had in history. When he wasn't even running ten flat, he was the fastest in history, faster than Rooney Surin. Bro, all praise to that, bro. I love seeing people run fast. It's gonna look so good in third place. It's gonna look so it's gonna look phenomenal. It's 
Arsenal. Oh, oh, all right, man. <laughs> Brian, yeah, we said start you right there. Check hey. us out. Viewers, <laughs> if you are following the Track and Field Network on YouTube, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and follow Unconventional Productions on YouTube as well. Mm-hmm. This is where we will be streaming uh, the prediction show next week. Well, um, I'm going to edit this show, and there's another show I got to edit. That's going to be produced and put on the Track and Field Network. So produced stuff will be on the Track and Field Network. The lives will be on uh, Unconventional Productions, both those on YouTube. Uh, follow the Track and Field Network on Twitter and on Instagram as well. Uh, you know Trayvon Mel, you can go follow him on Instagram. He don't really tweet no more. Or you don't X that much no more. <laughs> nah. <laughs> we, we, hey, don't follow. look for me or nothing on Twitter, bro. I might, I might literally have my agent delete that joint, so you don't even got to worry about seeing me on Twitter. I, I follow me on Instagram. Man. Hey, follow me on Fitted Fit it Court, man, for all the hats and the sneakers, man. We on there. Yeah, and check this. Jade be going to work on Unconventional Voice of Track and Field on Twitter. Y'all need to follow that. That's that's where the real tweets and X's happen. Go ahead yeah, and do Jade that. And also, Anson underscore Henry on Instagram and Anson Henry on Twitter. Nah, don't worry about my Twitter. I don't really tweet yeah. like that, y'all. I'll be, I'll be on Unconventional as well. I tweet from Unconventional mm-hmm. as well. But Track Field Network on, on Twitter. Unconventional uh, voice of track and field on Twitter. Go crazy. Y'all got a lot of track and field coverage uh, to to benefit from. Leading into the World Championships, we're going to be doing a lot, yo. I got a lot of content when I went to the London Diamond League. I got this interview, hilarious interview coming out with uh, Grant Holloway probably in the next couple of days. Um, and yeah, man, Trey, next week we'll have some fun with it. Uh, Justin should be back, and we should have RG3 here as well. But if even if he doesn't show up, we're going to have a crazy show, whoever does show up. Uh, yeah. Predictions go crazy up here. So big up everybody. Uh, yeah, man. Big talk to all these people and how we do it, yo. Signing off for another good respect trade for the end of the show, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, we out, yo. Spring culture out. Peace and love, mm-hmm. y'all.